in the early game, about 3,000 gold ahead. And at the 15 minute mark, they were well in control of it because they played through the bottom lane. And here comes River once again. Ming has flashed forward and he is dead. First bottom side, River is under their control. They got the push in the bottom lane. They walk up here with River and they will take the first dragon of the game. Good stuff from PSG. I always get a little really, yeah. effective. So I think in a situation like this, though, where RNG actually have a lot of squishy members, is they all in Ming. Solar Flare coming down onto Ming. The Equalizer will take the kill. River from long range secures that one in the bottom lane. That's the second time we have seen Ming fall on this Nautilus. PSG seem to have a very good strategy at shutting down Kaiser Nautilus yep. lanes. We saw them do this against Mad Lions yesterday as well. Way coming in here. The Destiny onto Hanabi as they look for the stun lock, and he's already flashed, and he is down. RNG with their first kill of the game. So I will want to praise the bot lane of PSG for making such a good play, but I might have to hold it as right now it is a two versus three. Both supports are on their way. I feel like PSG can't afford to overstay here. Ming yet to hit level six, but he's got the Hex Flash, and here he goes. Hex Flash, hook, straight onto Kai Wing. The chase is on. Maple trying to do what he can with the damage here. Kai Wing down to half HP. River using the Flame Splitter to try and burn him down, but he just doesn't have the damage right now. Hanabi, now TP's in. He's trying to get onto Ming, but he can't quite get there. Maple kills Wei. Kai and lands the stun card, but has to flash away. And PSG... Then it would have actually been a pretty even trade, especially if PSG could have gotten themselves. Mm -hmm. Who was actually doing in the top lane. He has really been styling on Hanabi as the flash in. Flash hook onto Maple, doesn't have a flash of his own. There's the equalizer into the solar flare, and the Ooh. stun lock is beautiful. The way will go down. Ming now being chased out by River as well, but Gala split push AD carry, solo laning most of this game because River and Kaiwing have been teaming up for some of these skirmishes. Xiao Hu left alone in the top lane to push in himself. He does have a 30 CS lead and, of course, had all five plates from that top tower, so he is miles ahead in terms of gold but the rest of PSG have been able to find advantages on the rest of the map. Let's just Desire, gonna so in team fights, a lot of pressure will be put on trying to kill him off. Zenith Blade is going to land here. There's equalizer. Oh, it's so <laughs> long range. You just assassinated. Someone's standing five kilometers would, away with a sniper and just headshots you. I would love it if we can get, um, I'm not sure if we can, but I want to see if we can just get Wei's vision perspective in that situation, oh. just to showcase how how far away that, that, that range came from. Now PSG still looking Kai for Wing. a fight. Kai Wing's on the flank, the rest of PSG are chasing in. Ming tries to hook himself away. Flash picked up here by Maple Doggo now. 1v3 on the back line, tries to go in. The stun card's gonna land, but Ming is down. PSG. And then Equalizer, into he just gets oh. killed from nowhere. <laughs> Disgusting. Oh, Ming stepping too far forward here. The solar fight coming down, and Ming's dead before the fight even really begins. Feathers fly from Doggo. He's diving in oh. with the Gale Force, trying to kill off Gala. Can't quite get the final order, and the Everfrost is short. Xiao Hu will kill Doggo, but PSG have got two kills in this fight so far. And RNG once again a fourth back. Hanabi, Hanabi, Hanabi. Hanabi, Hanabi! Shock oh, it went <laughs> wide! Hanabi, you failed! There. Yes, he did die to Xiao Hu, but I still love what we're seeing from this team. Now, the downs they still have control over the game. And the thing is, I feel like that this gold isn't really representative of the deficit of the eight kills. I think that if there was a game to get measured, this is it. Yep. They seem to have RNG's number, and I just love what we're seeing from PSG. And just so much credit as well to this Zaya Leona bot lane. Like we already commented, that Kai Wing just makes this Leona look so so strong. Mm -hmm. um, but it's Fourth such on a Friday good... and Saturday. PSG, if they win, guarantee themselves a tiebreaker at least. Vedius, they would uh, only be able to get caught at five wins. But the fight now, perhaps, is going to start. Xiao Hu has a good flank position, but Kai Wing's going to chase him off. The Rift Herald was used to take down that mid tier two, and PSG accepting just the tower for now. Maple. Looking for the chasers, actually popped the ghost from the spellbook. Zhao Hu has to be a bit careful because a sleepy trouble bubble will force him back. Everfrost is going to get the slow. There's the paddle star. And look at Kai Wing once again, flanking all the way around. Dragon's Rage kick comes out, but Maple survives. Zhao Hu dodges away. Stopwatch. Oh, they started the Baron. RNG is starting up the Baron. They're looking for it. Zhao Hu's going to get killed off here in the end, dodging around vision as much as he can. But RNG actually So back. instead, what they're going to do is just try and split apart the map, take away whatever objectives they can. And they're keeping the game very even as a result of this but they will lose them the, the fourth strike of the game. It is something they did very well against C9 as well. In that base race game, they said, well, we there's the sleep. 
Depth Charge will be popped onto Doggo. Hasn't used the Feather Storm yet. Loading Lullaby now, though. Feather Storm used as the sleep goes down. Maple trying to get in from the side, but the Dragon's Rage kick. Doggo still able to kill off Ming. Doggo is now dead, though. Gala dived onto the back line. Kaiwing trading back into this. And you can see PSG just trying to win this fight when they were a numbers disadvantage. Xiaohu down towards the bottom will get killed. The sleep's going to land on Cryin. And Hanabi is still on the chase. Paddle Star. Cryin will blast Kern across the wall, but PSG able to come up trumps when RNG were the ones who looked for the fight. Hanabi flashes forward. Look at Cryin in the bot lane. This is actually a three versus four right now. He is split pushing. He's creating a point of pressure. Hanabi doesn't have TP. Xiaohu's looking for the flank here. Dragon secured by way. RNG they they do not have to fight this. Xiaohu does does land the sonic wave, crying chased away here by Hanabi. Of course, Hanabi doesn't have the flash in the river Gold control. And we'll continue to look for this mid lane tower. Gala dodges to the side of the Zenith Blade. Flash forward into the hook. The Blade Caller's going to catch out Ming and Hanabi. Will go down in the end. Solar Flare on the back line. One for one trade so far. But it's a top laner dead on PSG for only the support on RNG. RNG showcasing that they're not down and out yet. Good use of the double teleport to force PSG off of the Baron, but PSG is sitting there saying, well, we got both the teleport out. Here we Zahu go. Zahu goes kicks in. back Kai Wing and Gala's on the chase. Pops a stopwatch as Xiaohu's going to continue just to force the rest of PSG away. Gala diving in with the Killer Instinct. Got so much damage now. Maple's shut down. Doggo has to try and survive. He kills off Kryon, but he is forfeit for it. And now River, the last man standing. Skirmishes and team fights from RNG. They take the gold lead. They take the Baron. They've secured the last two dragons as well, and you can see... ...for flanks, making sure that your CC lands on just the right target, making sure that you have vision control, split apart your opposition, maybe break the fight out, rather into a straight 5v5 into like 2v2s and 3v3s. Yep. Like, uh, it's, it's a great way to watch the game, because I feel like we're getting to see something very different as these two teams fight off against each other now. Destiny. Hanabi is the target. Hanabi flashes away. Xiao, who's going to flash in as well? The Everfrost coming out, but already Hanabi is dead. Gala dived in. He's stunned up. Kaiwing's trying to chase him up, but Gala will win that 1v1. Doggo forced away, has the GA. Gala gets a double. Now it's 3v5. PSG trying to stay alive. The Feathers the come solar player only lands onto Ming, but the chase is on. Stopwatch popped. Here's the TP coming in from Kryon as he tries to rejoin the fray. The Sleep's going to land. There's the Equalizer as well, but Ming survives once again and now the turn and burn is on Xiaohu diving in pulled back the feathers will root him up for the moment the sleep coming out there it is a five man somnolence there as RNG push in there's nothing you can do RNG are your nightmare PSG as they come out with a clean ace at the 36 minute mark five for zero in favor of RNG beautifully executed and it looked Looked like Ming was just dead, but he's able to buy so much time. The locket coming up clutch, the shielding from Xiaohu as well. Just beautifully played from RNG. Xiaohu, is he going to sacrifice his GA? He's not. He's still going to stay alive, and RNG are going to look to run it down mid and end the game and get the revenge against PSG. You may be able to beat them once, but RNG will not go quietly. On the second time of asking, they defeat PSG. Ooh, what a great game. Woo. PSG would 